Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here, and welcome back to Stormworks. Today is the day we make $10 million. Just off the shore of this island, our barge is anchored and holding 400,000 litres of jet fuel cargo, but we're about to convert it into straight up cash. Here is the overall mission plan, and today we're going to complete the final stage. If you'd like to see the first or second stages of this epic mission, I'll leave links in the description below. But right now, we're in a huge hangar on this island, the military hospital, and from here, we're going to do some serious heavy lifting with my quadcopter as we transport my brand new monster fuel tank to the airport across the water. Then we're going to fly back to this island so we can get into our barge, take it up to the airport, and use our new equipment to make 10 million dollars. Let's get to work. Okay, this is it guys, the 10 million dollar episode. Here's our quadcopter, it's all fueled up and ready to go and we're going to essentially attach it to this massive tank over here that holds about 400,000 litres nearly anyway. Um, it's got a bunch of other features, we'll have a look at that when we're over at the airport shortly. But let's hop on board this thing and get the engine started. So here's our engine throttle then, we'll just take that up to about 47% I think, just to, you know, to get started with. There we go. That'll do. Both engines are spinning up now and the generators are also working there. That's these big things over here. Now we're going to start spinning up the rotors as well. So we'll just uh, gradually put that on to try and avoid using too much battery power too quickly. There we go. Okay, the battery is now charging. Let's see if we can go and attach to our tank over there. Now, if you see those connectors over there on these racks here, that's what we're going to attach to with these connectors just down here. So, we'll go forwards and um, I've got a camera actually as well underneath. So, if I press number 5 here. Now, what I've done is I've actually painted a, a target <laughs> on the tank. So, we should be able to see exactly where to line up if we match up that target with the middle of our monitor. There's the target, that black square. Okay, so we're going to keep that in the centre of the screen if we can. And there we go. And move down. It's a nice day for it, isn't it? Luckily, I mean, if it was windy, this would be quite tricky. But to be honest, you know, I try to wait for good weather. Here we go, here we go. Moving down, moving down. A bit scary, this. We're dealing with expensive equipment here. We're a bit too far ahead of it. There we go. Oh, yes, we're attached. Yes! The monitor works. It's a bit dark on screen now. Um, I do have some extra lights though. Number three is a bit better, isn't it? Now we can see there's the, the target in the center. We've also got coordinates on this screen as well in case we need it. But this is it, guys. We're ready to go. Now, um, it's not very far, but, uh, you know, we are going to be losing a bit of battery on the way. So I'm just going to jam full power on there on the motors and the engines as well. And we're going to take off straight away. So I'm just holding up at the moment, full collective. We'll spin around in the right direction. So our barge, there's the island over there, right? And our barge is just uh, sort of down below the edge of that grass there. There's the dock, right? And there's the, uh, the top of our barge. Oh, no, that's a, as a container. But we'll probably fly over it in just a second here. But as you can see, now it's a bit windy. So apologies for that, guys. I might have to reduce the noise of that wind. Okay, yep, so I just turned down the volume on the uh, the environment slider for audio, so hopefully that wind is a bit quieter now. And we're on the way, so it looks to be about, I don't know, two kilometres or so, not very far at all, especially in an aircraft. But just below us, if I go into uh, third person mode, there's the barge. Now, actually, look at that, it's, guys, it's flipped over 180 degrees. <laughs> so, well, it hasn't flipped over, it's turned around, I mean, 180 degrees. So, now, what happens is, if you log out of the game and then you know sort of load up again um all of the winches and the anchors and stuff they sort of reset and so i think the anchors have definitely detached um and hopefully they haven't sort of jammed themselves inside the boat and damaged anything but that actually can happen sometimes it is a problem with the game at the moment there's a bug there oh no so that has to be fixed guys but hopefully we won't have any major issues with our barge because there's a lot of money on board that thing um, but yeah, as you can see, the island that we're going to is just ahead of us. It's, it, you know, it's a pretty simple trip, this one. I'm just going to go over there, drop the tank off, and then fly back again. 
Then we're going to refuel the barge and take that over there and start selling our jet fuel. If we have a look at our battery level here, it, we've lost about 9%, nearly 9%. So yes, it is going to go down because we're just carrying so much weight. So although we can fly pretty well with this thing, it's just a bit too much for the uh, the engine and the, the generation we can produce. However, you know, for this sort of journey, it really doesn't matter at all. Um, so, you know, it, there's nothing to worry about here. But we just want to do it as quickly as possible, just in case something happens. I doubt a Megalodon can jump out of the water and get us from this height. <laughs> but uh, you never know what can happen in Stormworks, right? Guys, we're losing a bit of altitude here. Wait, what's happening? Okay, we, we're in the water right now. We're actually floating in the water. I think we're losing too much power. Right, luckily though, we can actually recharge... Look at that guys, we're recharging the battery while floating on the ocean. Now I didn't expect that, that is an issue, but as you can see it's not really an issue because we can just park ourselves here and luckily <laughs> the waves are non-existent at the moment. I'm going to keep the rotors running a bit guys just so that we can actually keep balance because we're quite top heavy of course, well very top heavy actually and if I turn those rotors off we'll probably roll over into the ocean and that'll be it. <laughs> so yeah I'll just keep a bit of uh, collective on here. I've got also hover on actually so it's doing it for me. Alright guys our battery as you can see is almost fully charged now so I'm just going to wait for that to go to 100%. There we go now I can chuck on the rotor power again. To maximum, we're going to hold full collective and hopefully we'll take off just fine. Right, let's go. Yep, we're probably about sort of 20 metres in the air right now. That's it, we'll just get over there as quickly as we can and hopefully we won't have to do any floating again. <laughs> it wouldn't matter if we do though. Here's a view from the exterior. So I do have solar panels on this big tank here. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know uh, how good they're going to be, but I have actually got 44 solar panels on it, which is, you know, quite a lot, I would have thought. Each one costs $400 as well, I think, anyway, so, you know, they're quite expensive. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, hopefully they'll charge this up nicely, because we are going to be essentially leaving this on the island, selling jet fuel, so we can go wherever we like in the world, I think, um, and it should just keep selling jet fuel, because we've got a keep active block on it as well. And all kinds of good stuff there but look at this guys we are now at the airport basically and on the left hand side there's that crane where we're going to be selling our jet fuel into it so uh there it is i can just about see it uh we're going to first person mode there it is under the arm there okay so that's where we're going to park this thing and the barge is going to be in the water just down the cliff here uh, near that crane so I am going to make sure I position this tank so the barge can connect to it uh, as easily as possible right so we'll just have a look here right we're going to connect on this side so I'm just going to bring it down kind of like over in uh, maybe I'll take it on the other side of the crane actually there seems to be a bit more space there there's some rocks in the way on this side there we go right we'll try and do it in first person if we can is a bit scary though. It's bringing it down right now. Nice and easy. Where's the crane? There it is. I just don't want to catch my rotors on it. That's the only problem. But uh, I can repair them, of course. Unless we actually lose one. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. If you lose a rotor and you repair it, like a blade, I mean, do you get the blade back? Anyway, we're on the ground, guys. Now, how close are we? I'm just going to get a bit closer, I think. So I'm going to go up and then to the left just a little bit closer okay that should do it there right what I'm gonna do is detach now actually first of all we'll just get out and have a look look at that perfect job that is so it basically when this has got you know jet fuel in it I'm going to be connecting this up to the crane and then we'll just start selling it straight away uh, but now we've got to go and get the jet fuel to get that started in the first place. All right, everything's fine. Let's uh, climb up the ladder here, get back on to the quadcopter and fly back home again. So now we have to disconnect from our connectors down there, from the tank itself. So if I just press, wh which one is it? Number six. There we are. We've disconnected and we're now, yes, we've done it. Right, we'll just spin around. There's the monitor. You can see there's the tank underneath. I'm going to spin around a bit here back in the right direction which is literally this way and there we go 
Okay, I mean, it started raining now, as, you know, as is uh, to be expected. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. I think the only problem that we're going to face right now is the wind. And yes, you can see the wind is picking. Oh my goodness, look how quickly that changed. That was very quick. I mean, it was instant, right? From zero to, well, <laughs> quite bad seas, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to turn the monitor off because we don't need that at the moment. That'll save a bit of battery power, I would have thought. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you know, the barge, now we've got to refill it with diesel first. I'm going to use the quadcopter to help us with that. I'm just going to uh, get some diesel in another sort of uh, fuel tank that we've got, which you may have seen before if you see my other videos. So I'm going to go and get that fuel tank, take it down to the dock, um, sort of, you know, make sure the barge is quite close to it and then just hose diesel into the tanks of the barge uh, and that should be fine. But if it's really, you know, choppy out there, that could be a dangerous procedure, so we'll have to see how that goes. Anyway guys, I'll see you back at base when I'm ready to take our fuel tank over to the barge. Alright guys, we're back home now at the hangar. So what I'm going to do is leave this quadcopter here, outside. Uh, and then I'm going to spawn in uh, an extra fuel tank, uh, a slightly smaller one. And I'll fill it up with diesel. And then I'll sort of drive or fly this quadcopter into the hangar and connect to it in there. Because it's quite a small tank, it's quite uh, low down, so... That should be fine. Let's just chop off the uh, engine power there. That's it. Very, very good. All right. Let's run into the hangar. Okay, here it is then. So we're going to use this tank here. You might remember it uh, from a previous episode. But yeah, we're, we're going to be uh, sort of filling it up to the max and then just taking it down to the dock. So it holds nearly 10,000 litres, actually. Hopefully that's enough. Um, but anyway, here is our diesel tank. So we're just grab that yep that should be fine and then we'll run back here and uh hopefully it's going to reach is it yep it reaches fine hook it into the inlet and yep it's filling up with diesel well as you can see our, our diesel in the base tank is uh, almost gone completely <laughs> so this is quite risky to be honest um i might yeah we have got some in the quadcopter as well but this could be an issue. We do have other bases around, so, you know, it's not like the end of the world or anything, but we're going to have to be careful about this because um, there's literally no diesel left over here. Anyway, let's just... Uh, how much have we got? Only 5,000 litres. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I think we'll be okay. Um, but, yeah, that's actually a lot less than I expected, to be honest. We still have two and a half thousand litres in the quadcopter as well. Right, let's just take this in. So we'll start up the motors here. All right, we'll take off now. And I think my connectors are actually turned off as well. So if I just press number six again, now they should connect to the other fuel tank. Now this is going to be a bit dangerous, guys, because of course, you know, we're flying inside a building and any kind of contact at all will result in a broken rotor blade or something so we'll have to be so careful about this as you can see you know th there is plenty of room but you yeah it's a very very risky uh <laughs> risky event this thing anyway let's just get it done i'm gonna put my monitor on as well there it is there's our tank nice there we're connected yes we're going to go backwards, guys. This is scary stuff. Well, reversing a quadcopter out of a hangar, carrying a fuel tank at the same time, is uh, quite panic-inducing, I must say. We've done it! Yes! We get well clear of it. Right, now we're going to lift up and head over in this direction, because our barge is over here. Now, the wind has died down um, while we were doing that. That's so lucky. So, well, I think it has anyway. It's quite hard to tell sometimes, but I believe it's a lot calmer than it was a minute ago. So what I'm going to do, there's the dock. I'm going to put this on the dock. And our control panel is on the right-hand side of the quadcopter there. So I'm just going to park it this way. Actually, I wonder if we can get it from there, guys. Now, that is a very small space to land on. Um, I might have to do this in, in third person just so that we, <laughs> we can see what we're doing here. Uh, there's not really a place we can land on the barge, uh, unfortunately, because it, you know, we probably could do, um, but it is a bit risky, especially with all of that jet fuel in there. 
uh, one mistake and we could lose millions of dollars, like literally. So what I might do though is try and land on the corner here because then <laughs> it's perfectly positioned, isn't it? And hopefully we can just, yeah, I reckon that's going to be good. We can just, you know, put the hose down onto the boat and yeah. Oh, look at that. Wait, something's connecting and disconnect. Oh no, that's the, uh, that's the anchors, by the way, guys. That noise that you can hear there, the mags, that's actually anchors messing about because we loaded in. And as I said earlier, there's a problem, right? Let me just go this way a bit. It doesn't look uh, too healthy, does it, that? Our fuel tank's kind of glitching into the side of the dock. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to leave the power on. Oh, I was only doing that with, like, 25% electric motor power. Wow, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't even realise. But I'm going to turn that down and just keep a bit on there for stability. So keep it, like, uh, 18, I think. 18 is pretty good. Okay, sorry about that noise, guys. That is the anchors. I'm going to turn those off now. But also, I'm going to grab a hose, which we've got one right here. I've got one on my inventory as well, actually. We're going to click on the outlet here. Click on the pump. And then I'm going to jump onto deck. Hopefully I won't get too hurt. Okay. Uh, where's the hose? Have we got it? No, oh, I've dropped it. Anyway, I'm going to turn off these anchors because they're really annoying me. Okay, I'm back up here now. So I'm just going to reconnect to that. The pump is on. Then I'm going to jump down here. Yeah, very, very good. Connect it to the inlet. And it should just be... Oh, I've got to turn on the pump as well. There we go, guys. We're refueling the barge. It's working. Now, it's not going to go to max level, but it will give us a good amount, you know. Because the thing is, we can already get over there. Where is the island? Uh, it's somewhere over in that direction, I think. Um, we can already get there on the fuel that we had. But, it, you know, we can't really charge the batteries too much when we get there. So, that's why we're putting a bit more diesel into the tanks here. I can't see any damage, though, even though we're against the rocks right now. We'll just check our jet fuel tanks. But... Look at that, they're all maxed out to the top, 128,000 litres in each one. So, oh, I can't wait to start selling this stuff, guys. Look what I've just found. Oh, no! Okay, okay, this is bad. Our anchor, right, when we load it in, our anchor has catapulted off the seabed and into our smokestack. Oh, no! So, I don't know if that can get out. I, that may be impossible to get out, but luckily, I don't think there's any damage which is the most important thing. So we can't use that anchor at all now. It's just glitching into the side. What a shame that is. Yeah, what happens basically is that when you've got um, a winch and you, you log out and then sort of load back in again, the winch resets its uh, sort of cable length or hose length to zero straight away. Um, and it also resets the mag. So temporarily the mag is off as soon as you load in. And so it disconnects. The winch like just pulls it back in really hard. Um, and yeah, of course, that can happen. And we've got three other anchors as well, so I don't know what's happened to the other three. But most certainly there... Oh, there's one, look. Okay, so this one's actually... Can we move it? Uh, yes, we can move it. But it's very difficult because the, uh, uh, as I say, the hose is pulled in all the way. So we're going to have to release that bit. Oh, guys, that's a really annoying thing. But luckily, the boat is not <laughs> is not sinking. Okay, um, now the fuel is in. So let's just take that off. Right, now I'm going to go up to the top and take the quadcopter back to base. Okay, here we are then, back at the top. So let's get on board this thing. And very simple job, this one. We're just going to take off. I'm going to make sure we've got enough motor power there. But it's a bit lighter than it was. There we go. Oh, yes, brilliant. That's perfect. And we've just got to locate the hangar now, which is there. Now, what we can do with this is just despawn it, the tank and the quadcopter, because we don't need this anymore. So, I suppose I could have put some more diesel into the barge, but it's all right. We don't have to do that right now. I think that would be okay, to be honest. We'll just fly it back in. Shouldn't be too tricky. And um, then we'll get onto the barge and get on our way over to the airport. Right, here it is then, and everything looks fine. It's really calm now, isn't it? Again, we're... Oh, no! Okay, guys. Guys, we've got serious damage. Serious damage on the side of the boat. We've got all of our jet fuel, so that's okay. But we're probably taking on a bit of water, actually. 
I would imagine that we are. So let's just go up into the uh, the bridge here and just check that out. Interestingly, look, we're not taking on any water at all. Now that's probably because the damage is high up. Okay, so I was panicking for a second. But um, what I'm going to do then is do a bit of repairing right now before we go. And I do have a welding torch here. So let's get that done. That is so lucky, isn't it, guys? I can't believe this happened. Th that damage wasn't there before, was it? I don't think I remember. Does anyone remember seeing that? I think it must have happened when we were taking that tank back. Let's jump into the water here. Yeah, look, most of it is... Look how close it is to the waterline. So if that was one block lower, we'd probably be <laughs> taking in water. Oh, wait, I can't use my, my torch here, can I? All right, you can do it on the ladder, though. Not very successfully. Okay, let's get an underwater welding torch and finish up the job. Okay, there should be one in here. There we go. Underwater welding torch, even though we're over water. I guess we're sort of in the water, aren't we? Brilliant. Oh, I'm so glad. That was incredibly lucky. I mean, that looked to be more damage than the Megalodon caused, almost. Um, I think that's okay. You know, let's just get away from this place right now before anything else happens. So we're going to use our bow thrusters here. And... I think that'll be working. Yep, they're working. We're moving port side now. Left. And there's the island over there we're going to. So, right, now we'll start up the generators. Okay, battery level is increasing and it's nearly 100% anyway. Now let's just increase our throttle a bit and get the jets moving as well. Right, motor power breaker. And we're moving, I think. Yep, we're moving. Two and a half knots, three knots, four knots. Now, we will turn, of course, but we just want to make sure we're clear of land before we do any proper turning here. So I'll just do it gradually. Looks okay, though, doesn't it? Now we'll just turn port side as much as possible. We can speed up a bit now as well. Let's go to 40%. And here we go, guys. This is it. This is the last major trip we're doing for this epic three-part mission. And, uh, okay, 7.2 knots, $10 million of jet fuel on board. And hopefully the Megalodon won't claim us <laughs> um, as, as we're sort of halfway between these two islands. Because it, it's not a very long distance away, is it? So it'll be a, a real uh, spot of bad luck if we do get eaten halfway. I'm going to check down below deck because I'm just wondering if there's any more damage down there. So, we'll just have a quick look at that. But I think we've pretty much cleared this up. Oh, there's a bit there, look. Okay, that's done. Um, what about here? I think it seems to be fine, to be honest. There's no water. As we can see in the bridge, there's no water coming in at all. So, yep, yeah, that's all good. Let's go back now. Let's put some lights on as well, guys. We're going to have instrument lights here because that just brightens up the bridge a bit. That's very, very good. And, well, we could have nav lights. We don't really need them, do we? But <laughs> I suppose it's kind of realistic to have them. So we'll chuck those on for now. And, of course, we have our chart screen here. So that's the military hospital. And if we zoom out, we should see the other island as well. Uh, there's the train tracks down there. And up here, there is the island we're going to. That one there. There we go. Both of them on screen right now. Yep, that anchor, look at that, it's actually moving. If we have a look inside, I don't know if we can see inside the... There we go, there it is. Oh no! So it, oh, that, that's impossible to get out now. We, it's literally, unless it can glitch back through the boat, that is literally permanently stuck inside our funnel, that anchor there. And what about the other side? Have we got, um, okay, this is where the other anchor's meant to be, and it's just not there. Uh... <laughs> Okay, where is it? Okay, I can't see that one. There's this anchor, so that is that is also stuck into the, the hull as well. But it might... Hmm, we might be able to dislodge that one. It's still connected. The hose, look. So basically, guys, we can't really anchor when we're over at the airport. But we will be attached to something on land. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And of course, the anchor on this side is on deck. So it actually, has that damaged our mini Wolverine? No, it's, uh, it's rammed into it, but I think it's okay. We're just going to increase our throttle a bit here, guys. Try and get over there a bit faster. Without burning too much fuel. We've got just over 8,000 litres. 
on board, so that's very good. Yeah, that's increased our speed a lot, actually. That's worth it. So, nine and a half knots. The waves might be picking up a little bit, but they're absolutely fine at the moment. Alright guys, we're here now, and it has started raining, but also um, the sun is going down, so I am going to sleep through the night in a moment, so we can actually do all this stuff in the daytime, but um, we can get fairly close to the rocks because, well, it's very, very calm, of course. Yeah, I'm just going to wait till morning now before we go right up to it. Alright, it's morning. Everything seems fine. The engines are not on fire. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. And is it calm enough? Yes, it is. It is very, very calm. So now we can get right up to the rocks uh, and start sending our jet fuel up into the tank on the island. So the engines are still running. I'll just increase our throttle a bit and put the clutch on for the water jets and motor power as well. And we're moving towards the island. Okay, yeah, we'll tuck in here because... We'll, well, I think the crane is going to be about, if we just put the barge around, you know, this area here. So I'm going to, oh, that's getting a bit close now, isn't it? All right, let's just slow down. That's it. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. But we are going way too quick. We're going like nearly 10 knots <laughs> right into a rock. So, oh, nice one. Nice one. Now, of course, we don't really have... Uh, much use of the anchors. We could use that anchor over there. But to be honest, it's pretty useless if they're going to keep disconnecting. So, anyway, we'll just move forwards a little bit here. Now, it seems like the waves are actually coming towards us. So they might they might knock us into the rocks. Um, but we'll be alright for the moment. So, let's just uh, let's stop here. Here's that bow anchor on the left-hand side, so we'll just move that. Oh, it's already got maximum length, so that's okay. Um, I wonder why we can't move it then. I think it's stuck in the side of the boat, guys. Yeah, we may not... Oh, actually, no, look at that. Oh, yes, it's it's working. Okay, let's chuck that over the side. That's in the water. And it's definitely... Uh, yeah... But that one, we just <laughs> will never be able to use that one. I might slacken it off if I can. It's only 12 metres deep up there. So if I just bring in the anchor to about 13 metres or so. Okay, that'll do. Now the mag is definitely on. That should be anchoring us uh, to some degree anyway. All right, guys. Now let's go over to our massive winch up here and um, extend it out and then see if we can go and connect up to the big fuel tank. I think 115 metres should be enough. We'll just give it a bit more. There we go, 137. That's plenty. So now we're going to take this. I'll actually grab it with both hands, just in case. So we'll use E on that one and then Q on the other one. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. There we go, that's attached. Now you see, guys, because I just attached it there by mistake, the winch um, instantly, and I'm so sorry about that, <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. The winches have been doing this for ages, guys. Or anything that you pick up like this. They shake around like this. I've been doing this for like a year in the game. Anyway, let's winch out. Uh, oh my goodness, this is scary. Okay, 141 meters. As soon as I disconnected that hose by mistake, it reeled it back in, like, instantly. Um, and if you hold on to it, you're dead in, like well under a second like literally instantly in it's instant death <laughs> instant death so uh, i wouldn't uh, yeah i'd be very careful with these winches if i were you over here there should be the crane and of course our monster fuel tank where well, there's the crane there's the tank all right all right as you can see i've got these connectors on here as well so there's the in all right so we'll just connect up to that and turn the pump on now it won't be uh putting fuel into this yet because i need to go and switch on the pumps on the boat as well but we should see that working in just a moment. By the way, guys, if you want to see what it's like inside this tank as well, I'll quickly run down inside it. 
uh, just so you can see what's going on here. We've got two large batteries, one on each end of the tank. Um, these are There's two ladders going down as well. And then we've got single uh, large pumps going in and out here. So we've got two pumps on the boat and one pump here. That'll be three in total. So hopefully that'll be enough to give us a good speed. We can certainly put fuel into this and much faster than it's going to be selling. Uh, much faster, hopefully. Anyway, let's go down and see if we can put some jet fuel into that tank. Oh, I'm just falling off the cliff and the boat is already. Um, there's the anchor. Okay, I can see the anchor's connected, but we're miles offshore already. <laughs> okay, this is not exactly ideal, is it? But here are the jet fuel tanks. So what I'm going to do is, let's try tank number three. Pump out. Yes, guys, it's going. It's going into the tank. Now what we're going to do is head up onto the island and start selling the fuel out of the tank at the same time as topping it up from here. Let's see if we can do that. Alright guys, we're at the tank now and as you can see it is filling up. We've got just over 800 litres in there at the moment. Now what we can do next is connect this crane up to it or we just use the hose here. So attach that over to the other side of this panel here. Uh, pump out and we are now selling jet fuel guys. We've started selling $10 million of jet fuel. Now, of course, this is going to take a very, very long time to do, guys. I mean, it might take over an entire day and night. But when our barge is empty, okay, we can leave this island. We leave the tank here selling the jet fuel and take the barge back home and despawn it into the workbench. And then we can just, you know, sell uh, fuel out of this tank without doing anything at all. So our job will basically be done at that point. So what I'll do is I'll bring you back in when we uh, when the barge is empty and we can take it back home and then this will continue selling at that point. All right, guys, I've got some good news and also a couple of issues which we're going to sort out shortly. But first of all, the barge is now completely empty. So all of the jet fuel that we had is now in this tank here. We've also sold quite a lot of it already. But there's, uh, you can see there, there's just over 300,000 litres still to sell off in the tank. And we're currently sitting on about $2.6 million, which is incredible. So that's going to keep going now. But one of the issues at the moment is that I do have some mags underneath, but apparently they're not strong enough or they just haven't connected at all. And so this tank has been pulled up against the crane here. Now, it seems all right at the moment, but that could cause some major problems at any point. So we're going to sort that out in a minute. The other issue is actually that performance has dropped off a little bit, so it'd be quite handy for me to take the barge back uh, back to base in a minute, despawn it, and get a lot of that performance back. But what I'm going to do is come back here with another vehicle, which I didn't actually plan on using in this mission, but we're going to use it because it's going to help us to move this tank back a bit. So I'll take the barge back to base, uh, pick up the new vehicle and I'll just show you a couple of clips of that on the way because it's going to take quite a long time to do it but on video it won't take very long at all. Alright guys, so I'll go and do that and I'll see you back at base when we're ready to spawn in the next vehicle. I've just found a crate guys on the way home so I'm going to pick it up right now. $9,000, very nice. There's another crate, because $10 million is just never enough, is it? <laughs> okay, top speed test. Over 30 knots. Very nice. And just ahead of us, look at that. There is our home base. We've done it. When I get there, I'm going to sleep till morning just so that hopefully we can get rid of this weather because the wind and the rain has picked up a bit. Um, and yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll get started uh, spawning in the next vehicle in the morning. Okay, I've gone a bit too fast now, so I've got to take off turbo mode because we're doing 24 knots right into a dock, <laughs> which is never a smart move, is it? Never a smart move. Bring that right down. Anyway, guys, that is it for the barge now. It's done its job and it's served us very, very well. But now let's despawn it back into the workbench and go and get the next vehicle. Okay, it's morning now, a brand new day, and uh, I've spawned in the next vehicle, guys. We're going to use 
the Scorpion Helicopter. So this is actually something we made in Season 1, but we've also brought it back in Season 2. There's a couple of reasons why I've chosen this helicopter. Number one is that it's quite small, right? So there shouldn't be too much of a performance impact. Number two, uh, it's an aircraft, so you know we can get back over to the airport really quickly and easily. Number three, it's got these mags here, and we're gonna need those because I'm gonna spawn in some equipment in the train shed in a minute, which is just over there, and we're gonna attach that equipment onto this helicopter and take it over to save our fuel tank, which possibly will soon get damaged by the crane if it gets pulled into it too much. So let's get this thing fueled up and take it over to the train shed. So this is what I'm spawning in to take up to save our tank. So it's a winch basically, uh, but I'm calling it an anchor winch. So what you do is you anchor it onto the ground, attach this mag to whatever you want to pull, and then pull it in with the winch. Okay, so that's the idea. So I'm going to get two of these, attach them to the mags on the helicopter, and take them up to the airport. Right then, the winches are attached, so now let's get them over to the airport. You know what's good though guys, we are still selling our jet fuel and we now have over 3.1 million dollars. There's the airport just up ahead. Right, the question is, has the tank been damaged or is it okay? I mean, we are still selling jet fuel, aren't we? So it should be okay. Um, where am I going to put the helicopter? Well, I'm going to put the winches behind the tank. So let's just put this down over here. There we go. Fly around to this side, give it plenty of room just in case. There we go, that's fine. Right, let's just put it down here. Careful, careful. All right, bit of a hard landing. Let's just close that down. Okay then, so I'll just set up the winches and we'll see if they work. All right guys, so the winches are now in place. So basically they're anchored to the ground at this end. And then they're also anchored onto the uh, sort of tank. I don't know what they're called, supports or something. But they're over here. Now they're not quite perfectly lined up. But I reckon that's fairly good. All we have to do is move it back, you know, like three meters or something. Just so we can get it a bit clear of that crane. And hopefully, um, well I'll just take these mags off as well. Those are the mags on the tank itself. Right, now let's go back here. Now they're quite far, so what we have to do is uh, winch in this one and then quickly run over to the other one and winch that in as well, all right, guys? So let's just try this now. It's going to be uh, that button there. So in three, two, one, go. Right, run. Okay, they're both winching in. Right, now at the moment, is it moving? Oh, I think it's moving, guys. Yes, it is. Look at that. Right, now let's just attach this hose here because... That's better. Look at the tension on these lines. That's amazing. All right, we'll just go a little bit further. And, uh, you know, I might as well just uh, leave these anchors here. I'll probably detach them, but I'll leave them here just in case uh, the hose on the crane pulls it back in for whatever reason. One of the issues as well is that I couldn't really attach the quadcopter to it when it's close to that crane, because I reckon we might, you know, damage our rotors. It'd just be very, very dangerous. And that's why I haven't just flown the quadcopter over here, uh, because chances are it would be a bad idea to fly it so close to the crane. So I just went for this option instead. But it's a bit more fun to do this. And, I mean, look, it's working very, very well. All right, then, I'm going to leave it here. So let's just turn that off. We're going to stop that one, and then we'll stop this one as well. Okay, and then we're going to detach them. Now, this is going to be quite... Actually, no, it's not dangerous, because what I'm going to do is winch it out a bit first. It'd be quite fun to catapult the connector back in, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I'm not taking any risks when that tank holds millions of dollars. I think I did forget to show you some of the features we've got on this tank. So first of all then, uh, these are access hatches for the batteries. And as you might have seen earlier, inside the tank, I've got two of those. So one on either end. But that's pretty good right there. Uh, just, you know, just so we can repair them if we need to. And then I've got fire extinguishers and also welding torches on either side of that. On the other end, I've got, of course, the other battery hatch over there. And then we've got some fluid hoses and uh, some extra equipment as well, like, you know, I've got a flare and a flashlight, first aid kit, that sort of thing. 
let's just go and have a look up here. On top we've got the solar panels here, there's 44 in total because that's 22 there and 22 on the other side. We've got uh, two different types of connector for putting fluid into the tank and we've got these racks, that's where we connected with our quadcopter up here. There's the target so we can line up with it and it's the same on both sides. And then finally I suppose we just got this control panel, uh, you know the fuel gauge, that's the mag connector button so we can grip it to the ground, I should actually put those back on. And I can't hear them connecting but hopefully they are going to connect at some point. I've got this breaker here so I can stop electric going into the connectors at the top. That's just so that when the quadcopter attaches to this tank it doesn't sort of share the power between these batteries and the quadcopters. But I can choose if I want that on or off. Uh, player sensor for the lights here and I've got a top connector release button, what else have I got here? Electrical charging thing <laughs> anchor there uh, pump in and out buttons and of course different you know fluid connectors as well I think that's pretty much it guys battery gauge I've got a rope anchor here and that's how I actually towed this thing out of the hangar earlier on with our big red truck anyway guys that's just about it for now so I'm gonna sit here and wait until we've sold all of that jet fuel and hopefully it's gonna total over 10 million dollars here it comes here it comes oh and we've done it yes 10 million dollars Oh, that guys, that took such a long time to achieve this. I, I can't even believe how long it took, but we've made it in the end. And by the way, as you can see, we're still selling jet fuel right now. So I'm hoping we might even get to 11 million. I'm not quite sure. I haven't calculated it yet. But anyway, I'll come back in a minute when we've actually sold every last drop of this stuff. Um, and we'll see how much money we've got. But yes, we made it. 10 million dollars. Okay, all of the jet fuel is now sold, and check out how much we've made. 10,992,377 dollars. Unfortunately, not quite the 11 million that I was hoping for, but very, very close, actually. Incredibly close. But let me tell you guys, this took me over 70 hours just to sell all of the fuel from the tank. So that's why this video has taken so long to make. But uh, luckily I could do some editing actually while the game was running, but not a whole lot because it's very, very heavy on the processor. So uh, I had to kind of be very careful about that. But yes, yeah, it's all done now, guys. We've got nearly $11 million. Now, I'm already thinking about Season 3, and I've got some really cool ideas for that. But please do send in your suggestions if you've got anything you want me to do for Season 3. I do have an idea for at least one more video of Season 2. Maybe two videos. I'm not actually quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, I am thinking about Season 3. And of course, I do want to make use of upcoming updates and DLC that we know about. So that is going to sort of factor into season three and I want to start that at the right time but anyway guys we're nearing the end of season two and as I say I've just got a couple of plans to sort of round off the season in a, in a pretty good way and hopefully make use of the fact that we now have <laughs> so much money in the bank anyway guys thank you so much for watching I really do hope you've enjoyed this video but also of course the whole mission in general um, it's been a lot of fun to make and it's been <laughs> very time consuming and uh, but very very fun as well I'm so glad we've done it anyway guys thank you so much take care and I'll see you all very very soon bye for now